What's your mentality? My mentality? It's the same as every week, man. We've got to dial in, double down on, on, on my process. So just watching more film than I've ever done all year. Um, and, and just really giving, giving 100 per 10 percent effort uh, out, out there in walkers. You know, we're, eliminate, we're eliminating the contact, let our bodies rest. So if I can be locked in you know, mentally and, and, and just walking through my techniques and even just if it's like 100 percent for like three kicks, you know, just working on hand placement. Um, and our, our Peace Corps guys do a great job of giving us a, a decent look. So, yeah, just going to focus on me this week. Know what, what my strengths and weaknesses are, and, and try and work on that this week. But as a, human, is it, as a human, is that hard to do when you're this close and you can taste it? A human? You know, as a, you know, a human. Like you know, you're looking ahead. I'm just saying, like it, it, you can tell yourself that, but you're not a robot either. Not a robot, but uh, it, it, you're a professional, and that's how you, you tell yourself that. These are things that you got to, as a professional, you got to be locked into, and you build that routine, and, and then you get comfortable, and, and whenever. Time to get tough. You fall back on your training and how you uh, how how strong is your your foundation, the routine. So. These 49ers are the best against the run. How difficult a challenge is that going to be? How much is it on the offensive line? They have a great defensive line, but we're a great offensive line too. So it's going to truly be the best on best, and uh, we just got to worry about executing our techniques and our plays and and just go like that. It's a great defensive line. Simple. I think they play very physical. Um, not only Debo Samuel, but Kittle as well. C Mac, very strong physical runners. Um, and they present definitely a problem because they can create a lot of explosive plays, uh, especially yards after the catch. Um, so we just got to make sure we tackle well. For a rookie quarterback like Brock coming in here, he hasn't lost yet. What is the mentality of what you want to do on defense to try to create some doubt or, or try to make it uncomfortable? Yeah, you definitely want to uh, try to uh, confuse him. As far as the disguises with the safeties and whatnot, um, and I think after that you just gotta attack them with the pass rush. You know, get after them, make sure you get hands on them at all times. You know. So when you see the 49ers on film, the amount of motion that they have, take us through preparation for that. What you're seeing on film, and then how you have to carry it into a game. I mean, well, they do a lot of motions and shifts and jet, uh, jet motions, and whatnot to, to disguise the formation they're trying to get to. Um, you just got to make sure your eyes are in the right spot. And also, when it boils down to it, it's about techniques and fundamentals and doing your job. So as long as you stay in your position, you do what you're supposed to do, usually it's going to serve a good outcome at the end. How do you know what's the eye candy and really what they're trying to do? Uh, that's why I got to go in there and watch film. You know, it's hard to kind of pinpoint what they're trying to do. Uh, but you try, to, you try to steal a few plays here and there. For the most part, like I said, just do what you're supposed to do. Stay to your technique and uh, use your fundamentals. Is this the kind of team that you have to study a lot more, spend a lot more time on because of all that? I would say you're probably spending the same amount of time that you do any other week. Because, um, of course, like, like I said, you're not going to be able to remember everything going into the game because you still want to play fast and you don't want to overthink. Uh, but you try to get some a few tips here and there and just stick to those and play the rest of it honest. For you coming to the Eagles, making the decision to come here, um, how rewarding is this to be one win away from going to the Super Bowl? It's going great so far. You know, I just want to keep it going. <laughs> How do you pace yourself during the week to not build yourself up too much middle of the week for the biggest game ever? Uh, just think about today's Wednesday. So I just remind myself that I'm fo only focused on Wednesday. I worry about tomorrow when I wake up. Uh, he's a physical runner. Um, so anytime he gets the ball in his hand, he's going to be a tough tackle. So you just got to make sure, um, you know, we get hats to the ball. Does that become more challenging? Keep that one day at a time, focus. Everybody knows what's at stake here. One more win during the Super Bowl. So you have to do a little bit extra. Try to. Nah, I try to keep everything the same. You know, I'm gonna do the same thing that I've been doing since week one, as far as my routine or whatnot. Um, and that's how I kind of keep my mindset um, easy going and like pretty much laid back throughout the week. Slay, is he is he laid back during this week? I'm guessing not. Hey, he's the same guy. He's the same guy. You know, he's going to talk when he needs to talk and when he wants to talk. Um, he's going to keep the energy going. Jimmy, throughout your career, you've had uh, several different quarterbacks as uh, teammates. Uh, what's your reaction to uh, Jalen being a finalist for, for MVP? Uh, I, think, I definitely think it's deserving. Um, you know, I played with Cam Newton, and um, I didn't play with him during his MVP season, but I saw the capability that he had, you know, as far as throwing and running and how, how dynamic he was. That's the same thing I see in Jalen. Um, of course, his outcome has been a lot better than you know what he was back then when I was in Carolina. Um, so I definitely think he's deserving of the MVP, and I think he should win. Uh, if you're talking about being in the playoffs, being in me playing for meaningful games, without question, 
think it's just part of the process, and uh, I wanted to continue to add value and be a part of something special. And uh, Christian McCaffrey, you talked a bit about him. What, what, what he, what, you know, he brings to the table. How difficult a matchup he's going to be for everybody. I uh, haven't been in a conference with him for three years. When I was down in Tampa, uh, he's obviously a great talent. Uh, didn't see him every single game, but uh, happy that he's healthy and playing well. Uh, look forward to going against him. He's he's a he's a great running back, to say the least. What were your impressions of what the atmosphere was like here for your first playoff game? <laughs> I mean, you've been in the yeah. NFC title games before. And the playoff games before. Yeah, it's, like, it's uh, atmosphere here is one of a kind. I, I would uh, equate it very similar to Nebraska football in uh, one of those special places that you go there and uh, you know you're going to get the best from their fans. Uh, maybe not as nice as Nebraska fans, but uh, without question, a great great group. Yeah. Have yeah. you been impressed with Brock? Watching him on film, or seeing what you've seen of him, his poise and stuff. But has he really been hit? Has he taken big hits? Uh, I mean, watching film, I think he, they execute the way they want him to execute. Uh, they get the ball out quite uh, quickly. Uh, he gets to their playmakers to make plays uh, and not make mistakes. Uh, I think they got a great offense. I've played against uh, Shanahan and his group uh, many times. Obviously, I was in that conference when I was in LA. Uh, I've had great success, so I look forward to having the same. How hard would it be for him, for a rookie like him, to come into this atmosphere that you just described? That's up to him. (laughs) I don't have anything to do with that. Uh, I'm I'm at home where where we're supposed to be, uh, hosting the NFC Championship. So at the end of the day, he's got to handle it the way he wants to handle it, but we're going to definitely make it tough. Has he been able to get out of the way of some pressure? Is he, is he good at kind of moving around? Well, he's an athletic quarterback, definitely can move around. Uh, we were watching film earlier today, just seeing him escape some sacks and make it difficult for guys. So we definitely have our work cut out for us. How important would it be to get to him early, get a hit on him, and maybe kind of establish a tone here in the environment? What's going to be like? I think what's most important is making sure we shut down their run game. Uh, that's something that they want to do as a team is run the ball, uh, no matter who it is, Christian, Debo. Uh, their offensive line collectively, they want to move the line of scrimmage and play on our side where we want to play on their side. So it's important for us to make sure we shut down that run and make it a one-dimensional team, and then I think we'll have a lot of fun from there. Along those lines, I mean, since you and Linval got here, what have you noticed about the ability of you guys to shut down the run? I think Linval and and myself have added some value in that particular space, but I think there's some great talents with obviously Fletcher and Grave and Milt and Jordan. Uh, and just adding some more depth to, to that particular piece. Uh, it's something that I've always prided myself on, being a part of a number one defense is shut down runs uh, and set records in the NFL. Uh, so I want to be a part of that as well, but also uh, be able to get after the passer as well. How you much do you think younger, you guys you have helped? Younger days and, you know, was it hard to stay in the moment and not look too far ahead when you're this close to the taste? And, like, what advice you know, do you give to the younger guys that haven't been too much? As a professional, you got to understand you got to earn your way through this through this career, uh, and you got to earn your way to the Super Bowl. So this will hopefully be my third. But first and foremost, you got to take care of business, uh, the NFC Championship, and being focused and detailed and oriented to be able to say, all right, we're going to take care of business here first, and then obviously we'll have two great weeks to, to prepare for a Super Bowl. How much do you think you and Linball have helped the other guys? maybe stay fresh. They don't have to have as many snaps, as many reps in these games. That was the ultimate goal. Uh, keep guys fresh, uh, be able to see great pieces of talent, like I said before, with Fletch and Grave and Milton, being able to have a good rotation where guys can come in, make produce plays, uh, and then obviously get the guys back in. So ultimately, we knew what our particular roles are, excited about them, and want to continue to produce. What about you as far as staying fresh? Is this as fresh as you've been like this late in the season? Uh, I will say this is close to being as fresh as I've ever been. Uh, I will have to give credit to Jim Caldwell, who uh, when I was with him in 2014, that was the freshest I've ever gone into a, a playoff run. Uh, so, yeah. It's just, it's just, that atmosphere is, uh, is, is, is one of the best, you know. So you just got to go out there, you got to do your job, and you got to embrace it and enjoy it. One of those things where you can't hear yourself think or I'm used to it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's good for a couple of false starts, usually, isn't it? I mean, it's a good, yeah, it's a good and bad thing for both sides of the ball, you know, communication or false starts, you know, or just trying to play together at the beginning. How weird is it to be on the other side of the coin now? Now you're in an NFC title. Hey, I'm, I, it's still, Your career has come it's, 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 it's crazy. Yeah. Every time I go on that field, I'm like, man, I remember being on this side, yeah. you know, but it just it's a blessing. Everything's a blessing. With you guys coming in when you did, how fresh do some of these guys on the line seem, like Fletch and BG and guys like that with the rotation that you had? I mean, I feel like we have a good team chemistry, and 
we've been doing a hell of a job of keeping everybody fresh and everybody's been able to make plays and have fun doing what they're doing. When you look at Brock on film and what you've seen of him, are you impressed by his poise? What has he shown you? I am, man. I mean, to be a rookie, to play at the, in these big games and not really mess it up, mess it up, it's pretty good, man. Real good. It's going to be a lot different coming to this environment here in Philly? We'll see, man. I know it's going to be fun. I know it's going to be loud. I know it's going to be his biggest challenge yet. So can't wait to see what, what happens. I'm, I'm good. I'm good to go. Yeah. That's, 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 that's all you need to know. Nothing that will affect you this coming week? <clears throat> no. Take us through uh, the, the cameras picked up, you on the, on the bench looking a little dejected and Nick coming over to you. Uh, <clears throat> what was going on in that moment, and, and what was that conversation like? Um... It's a new week. We in the NFC Championship, and we're moving forward. And uh, it was nothing like uh, serious, but you know I'm moving forward, and I know I got a big week ahead of me. And I know, uh, so that's the, that's the only thing I'm worried about. I'm not worried about that, and I don't think nobody else should either, because it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's just you know, I mean, it's just that cameras just having to cap, capture you at one moment. Um, versus the way, you know, as being a receiver, always are, always want the ball, always want to be out there. I like the way you spent that question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, <laughs> like I said, it's nothing to be worried about, you know. Uh, that's it. <laughs> it's not that serious. Were you proud of your blocking in that game? Uh, I mean, of course, I'm, you know, uh, Smitty got a touchdown because of it, you know. Uh, so, of course, I'm trying to do my job, doing my job, helps my teammate to see, of course. Yeah. You've spoken to us, or I guess we've spoken to you about kind of embracing the big stage throughout mm-hmm. this season. This is the biggest stage you've been on in the NFL, really. What, What's your a level of excitement and anticipation for this game? Um, I played in this game. I played in the AFC Championship before. Yeah. Uh, so definitely know what the atmosphere is like, but this time it's on my side, mm-hmm. you know, so being uh, home, being home yeah. you know. Um, I think it's still just come down to making plays, you know, making every drive count, you know, and uh, the most physical team will win. What do you make of this Niners defense? Very physical, <laughs> fly around, uh, com- communicate real well. Uh, Got to make plays. In big games, do you ever have to kind of manage emotions? No. Because it's, it's all that waiting on you, you know. You don't got to try to make the game no bigger than what it is, you know. Um, every moment has its, has its own moment. And uh, you just stay fo- focused on within what you need to focus on and to do your job. It's still still football at the end of the day, regardless of however many people are watching. Speaking of making plays, the, the one area in which the 49ers defense has been a little susceptible is on giving up explosives. What have you seen in that regard? Um... <clears throat> I, th- I still think they do a really good job to try to take those, take the, take it away. Um, it definitely is it's openings everywhere. That just is open, openings on our defense. You just gotta exploit those, you know. And we just gotta try to take advantage of the opportunities that we are given. And uh, you know, like, once I, like I said, just making plays. You think their corners will travel? I don't know. I don't, I don't really worry about none of that, you know. AJ, when you were traded here, did you see this at the time as a, as a team that could win the Super Bowl? going to the right spot for you? <clears throat> um, I, I, I thought we won. After we won, I felt like we had a lot of pieces to try to make a potential run. Uh, we just got to put it together and execute. I think things are you know, going well, of course. Uh, we still got a lot of work to do. and It's not, a, not really a time to like self, self-reflect and to see. So we still got work to do. Going against Slay and Bradbury uh, for as long as you have now, how, how much has that helped you improve? Oh, tremendously, man. Those guys are really great corners, you know, in this league. And, you know, going against them every day in camp, you know, got me really prepared for the for this season. You know, um, everything had to be sharp and crisp because I know one wrong, wrong one wrong move, it, it could be an interception. I so, know you're a little busier in the season, but do you still kind of seek them out for tips when <laughs> you see how uh, DB's playing or that sort of thing? I talk to them, and they come talk to me, you know, uh, which I, 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 I like a lot, you know. Uh, there's no ego here, man. You know, if I if I see something, I got something to ask about a DB. I'm like, what's the best way to explore that? You know, I'm still also trying to learn, even though in year four, you know, trying to continue to get better. So, I don't know if you, you saw you had, Nick. You had a big game against them last year. Um, how are they different now to <clears throat> what they look like at the end of last year? 
Hold on, they got a couple of different people back there, you know. Uh, I think in that game I just made plays and not to dwell on the past. I, that's what it's going to come down to again, making plays. From not just me, just everybody, you know. Seems like there's a mutual respect between you and Debo. I guess what's your relationship like with him? Yeah, that's my that's my that's my bro. Uh, he's not talking to me at the time. He said <laughs> we talked after the, after he won the game. Uh, you know, we told each other good luck and we would see each other on the field. But you know, he's locked in and I'm locked in. And, you know, uh, it's all love at the end of the day, regardless of which way it would go. Did you hang at all during that pre-draft process? Did I what? Did you guys hang out or do anything during that pre-draft process? Um, yeah. So. Um, you know, me and D- me and Debo got the same agent. We all we're really tight. You know, so uh, it's, it's a family. I don't know if you saw Nick's comments on Monday. One thing he he said is that part of what makes like top receivers great is that they crave the ball to change the game. Can you put us in the mentality of a top receiver in that regard? Okay. Uh, if you throw the ball to me a hundred times, I'm gonna want it a hundred and one times. You know, I, I just feel, <laughs> yeah. You know, it just I just. Uh, me personally, I just feel like I can change the game, you know, in a moment, you know, and, uh, you know, getting the ball often, you know, keeps you going, keeps you in the rhythm, you know, uh, it definitely just puts you in the zone, you're locked in, and, and of course, you know, of course I want the ball, you know. In your career, have you had to deal with that at times? Deal with what? Deal with that wanting of the football when it doesn't necessarily... I'm, I'm a wide receiver. I, listen, <laughs> <laughs> listen, uh... Of course, you know. Uh, even even when the ball goes somewhere, go go somewhere else. Uh, you know, I just I'm a receiver. You know, I, I'm a dominant receiver who wants the ball, and I feel like I can change the game at any moment. You know, but you know, I definitely gotta do my job. If that's blocking, like I did last week, you know, that's not a problem. You've heard, I guess part of my have you ever heard that phrase that um, that has been associated with receivers calling them divas? Is, I mean, I don't know. If that's something that. You would uh, embrace or not, but um, is that kind of the mentality? Does that kind of include that term, like in that mentality? No, I'm, I'm never the receiver to, to to go on the sideline or to try, try to cause like problems on the sideline. I'm not that guy. I think I think that's what you can describe as a diva or whatever the case may be. But I'm not that person. You know, I'm a guy who goes and talk to the quarterback or talk to the OC and. Uh, do it, do it that way. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to got to try to cause you cause commotion on the sidelines. I'm not, I'm not, that's not who I am. I'll never be that guy. I, yeah, Nick, I, Nick I guess part of my question. You were celebrating in the locker room. For sure. So you're obviously very happy with sure. the, the win, but yeah. so, so just like, what was that, you know, I guess maybe multiple things going on in, in your mind in that, in that kind of moment? I like how y'all just spent all those questions back to the same question. Uh, it's, it's just not nothing to worry about. Like I said, I'm focused on this week. Uh, we, and um, I'm ready to go. There's no injury. I'm just ready to go. That's all y'all need to worry about. No, but like, yeah. Last one. I'm part of what I was asking though is, is 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 that personality part of what makes you who you are? Like <clears throat> in the field, in addition to your physical gifts, is like your personality out there? For sure, for sure. I I, I really believe in myself. I believe in my work, the work that I put in through the week. Uh, and I feel like whatever I do is going to work, you know. It, it may not work, but I feel like it's going to work, you know. And I really believe in myself. And like I said, I feel like I can take over the game whenever, you know, I get a, I get the opportunity. So, of course, I want the ball. I crave the ball. And uh, so that's the pretty much it's, it's as much as I can sum it up. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even watch them a lot yet. <laughs> I don't watch the uh, – I don't even watch it on the TV. But uh, I watched a little bit today. And, uh, I mean, he's making it He's making it happen. He's making the plays that he needs to. And, um I mean, we, we can't look at him as a rookie. We got to look at him as the, a playmaker, you know, the guy that, that's getting it done for him. He's helping out a lot. So, I mean, we can't look at him like, uh, like a rookie. How big is it to try to get to a guy like that early in the vi- environment you're going to have with Eagles fans so it kind of stays in his head, the possibility of pressure or feeling pressure, even if it's not there? I mean, it's, it's going to be beneficial for sure. Um, we're going to try to get around him as much as we can. I mean, that's that's what we do best. So if we... If we we know we got problems if we, you know, if we don't get a chance to rush and do what we do. You know what I'm saying? So, first and foremost, stop the run. We know they're good at it. It's going to be physical. What kind of environment did you have there this past weekend? The crowd, the fans, and how hyped everybody was. And what do you expect this weekend? Shoot, it's going to be the same. We're going we to need it. We're going to need that crowd noise. You know, we're we, we going to need it for sure. It's going to be great. Well, being that it was that crazy, how hard will it be for a rookie quarterback to come into a um, hopefully, I mean, hopefully, you know, it, it gives us the advantage. Like I said, uh, it's a playoffs. So a lot of that stuff goes out the window, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, crowd. I mean, the crowd noise 
in of itself, you know, you, you can't hear them, so they got to go on silent and stuff like that. So hopefully that gives us an advantage to, you know, get off the ball better and give – I mean, I think hopefully it helps. How does it feel being this close? You can taste it. I mean, it's, it's nice. You know, I, I haven't been in this situation before, but um, I'm just happy to be a part of it. But, I mean, we just got to worry about this one coming up. So I can't, I can't get too far ahead, but I'm excited for this one for sure. I've always heard that Philly fans are crazy, but that just confirmed it. You know, it's cra- I love being here. I love the fans. They, they support us so much. You know, it, it, it's going to even be a cra- even crazier Sunday, so I can't wait. So. How, how tough is the tackling duty of some of these guys like Debo? I believe he leads the NFL mm-hmm. in yards after the catch and the physical nature of some of these guys like Kittle and Debo. I mean, yeah, they're, they're tough to tackle, but, you know, it's just going to be he's more physical. And that's what we preach in our DB room and in the defensive room. You know, tackling is going to be a huge emphasis this week, and it's always been a huge emphasis going in each each game. So, With the amount of motion that they have, how big is the preparation all week, and how much do you have to trust your preparation when you're in the moment in the game? Yeah, it, it all comes down to fundamentals, too, and playing with your eyes. You know, we're preaching that a lot right now. They do a lot of eye candy stuff, but we'll be ready for it. What was it like to have a uh, playoff game under your belt? You no, know, it's cool. It, it was cool, you know, especially like I just got done talking. Philly atmosphere is crazy. And, uh, you know, I, I love the fans. I love that how they support us. You know, I've never been in an atmosphere like this before, so it, it's pretty cool. What stood out to you most about what you saw on Saturday? You talking about fan-wise? Yeah, yeah. Oh, just how they booed just every Giants fan. At Eli, they booed him. It's, it was crazy. It, it was really cool to see. How much does the team feed off of that atmosphere and energy? Oh, like I said, like the support we get is just crazy. You know, we 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 strive on that. You know, especially hearing them cheer is, is phenomenal. You know, I love it. I love that. How about uh, Christian McCaffrey? How tough is it to defend a guy like that? You know, he he's a great player. But like we've played great players before. Just play ball. You know, we've been playing ball for a long time, so it's not going to be any different. How do you kind of uh, pace yourself for, for this game, this huge game, one win away from the Super Bowl? Take one day at a time. You know, I'm not going to try and overthink Sunday, you know, because once I start thinking about Sunday, it's going to get a lot more nerve-wracking. But, you know, I, I'll be ready. But, you know, like I said, one day at a time, be prepared for it.